Would you believe it that April is half over? Lots to talk to you about in today's newsletter. It's all wow. News today as the news keeps getting better and better as the weeks roll by in April. Remember the CBI told us there is going to be a closing of the currency auctions by the end of the year with a significant event of the ending of the U.S. Treasury electronic platform in June. Remember this platform was developed and installed by the U.S. Treasury in Iraq in January 2023 to help curve corruption by auditing the auctions and limiting them to legitimate transactions. So far it has worked and since then much has changed. They tell us the parallel black market is now under control. I highly encourage everyone to read the following articles listed below prior to reading the rest of my status of the RV for today. What I have to say next will make much more sense. Here are the titles of the articles. You can find them in the articles section. Al Sudani speaks to the community in Washington about Iraq's recovery and the government's achievements. Parliamentary Committee Al Sudani's visit will have positive results on the Iraqi reality soon, after 21 years of the dollar auction. IRAQ is close to closing the window amid reassurances and warnings. Abdel Watt, the Sudanese visit to Washington is important and will restore stability to the dinar price. Newspaper Biden will demand from Sudanese to end Iran's influence and limit the activity of its arms in Iraq. Was the RV supposed to happen prior to Al-Sudani's visit to Washington? 